Hey, hey, man, God bless you. We just got back from Virginia. Late. 12.35. Sorry about that. Anyway, we still keep the word on, right? Even though, yeah, we got it today, right? It'll be there for you. Those of you going to say it in the morning. God bless you. All right, so what we have is Ephesians chapter 4. And it looks like we got how many verses here? Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, 32. So we're going to go ahead and work those. Excuse me for the, sh- the shaking. Then we'll go ahead and knock those out. But bottom line is, ain't the word good? I'm telling you. And, and, and look, how, look how the word of God different from the organizations, the people who look to oppress people, degrade people, Minimize uh, and and and, and uh, instead of show, you know, it's funny about some people out that have learned to speak the gospel of love or faith, while at the same time going after the image of God. Even matter of fact, when you think about it, not even just the image of God. There's people who abuse animals. Uh, and still think they're they doing the right thing. Very good fruit. Let's talk about this. Uh, this is chapter 4. I like this. The subtitle is called Unity in the Body of Christ. So let's let's check that out. Sounds, sounds like a good title to me. Sounds like one. You know, John chapter 4, we are one in Christ. So listen what we got here. Verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. You are not called to condemn. You're not called to put people down. You're called to preach the good news. You're called to love one another. You're called to reconcile the world. So all this stuff about how to say you ain't saved, how about a, I don't want to deal with you, all of, you know, your life. All right, with all lowliness, verse two, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, from bearing one another in love. That, that's what the scripture said. So that's what I'm saying is those people that said they'd be all mean and nasty, look what the scripture just said. What, what you got to say about the scripture? Matter of fact, those of you learning and reading these scriptures, show that to somebody that's mean and nasty. You know, look at this, verse 3. Ende- endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one Spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he says, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gift unto men. Now, that he ascended, what is it, but that he also descended first into the lower parts parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also who ascended above all, above all heaven, and that he might fill all things. Did, 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 did you see that? Is there a misunderstanding about what a Christian supposed to be? If you mean and you think that you can guilt somebody into the faith, excuse me, well, you were taught wrong. I'm going to just tell you right now. You were taught wrong, and ministries are taught wrong, to sit there and think that you're going to treat a grown person like a child. And I look, you don't treat a teenager like a like some 
some parent over a little child. Come on. You respect one another. Regardless of who they are, you respect them. Verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the, for what? For the, verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's what you're supposed to be able to do. Now sit there and be like that woman caught in the act of adultery and all those pen picked up stones and all they want to do is stone her until Christ would just say, he without seeing them cast the first stone. Many of us sit there, know you have sin and still want to cast a stone. Come on, come on, please. Verse 13, till we all come into the unity of the faith. Unity, not nationalism, not Republican Party and Democrat Party, but unity. That's what we even call the United States. The unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ that we henceforth be no more children. Did you see that? Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning and craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive Christ, I mean deceive. Verse 15, but speaking the truth in love, a truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compact by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part makes increase of the body unto the unifying or edifying of itself in love. Did you see that? Come on. That, that, that don't sound like no religious people who sit there and have nothing else to do but to sit there and, and uh, ready to crucify people. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you got that from. Verse 17, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God, from the life of God, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling, having given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. That, that You ain't gonna get that from Christ. You're gonna get that from I'm telling you, you're getting from denomination and everything else that teaches how to hurt people instead of teaching how to love people. Verse 21. You, you, you compare your action with the scriptures. That's all the best I can tell you. Verse 21. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yeshua, that you put off concerning the form of conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, that you may put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, look at that, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. And be ye angry, but and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the things which is good that he may give, may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that, he, but that which is good to the use of the edifying that you may minister grace unto the hearer. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby we are sealed unto the day of redemption, that all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you for all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. That's the Christian. If you want to be a Christian, go to Romans 10, 9 and 10. You confess your mouth to the Lord, do you believe in your heart? God, written dead, thou shalt be saved. Trust that. Amen. 